Hey, welcome back to the Land of Rain. And today we're going to be getting into Chisel Bookshelves. The ins and outs and what it takes to go ahead and make yourself a secret entrance. See, we got ourselves a, a bit of help from Etho and I modified his thing to go ahead and fit into this here thing. And now we have a simplified version right here. So we have a decoder right here. We got a one, single strength of one, right? And then for some reason, I'm not going to lie, it only works on six. So, uh... I don't know, ask Mojang on that one. But over here we have a decoder, right? And we have a uh, signal strength of five, and then that one also works on six, right? So all, all of these work on six. So unless we go ahead and remove, right? See, we go ahead and put a book into that one, turn that one off, right? Then we go ahead and put a book into here, turn that one off, right? Same situation over here, put a book in here, turn that one off. And then finally, put a book into this slot, and we have a secret entrance. Hello, hello, hello. Don't don't mind this. It's just my way out in case I press the button and reset the cycle and shut the door behind myself real quick. And the staircase right here is by FedEx Gaming. Uh, essentially, I took out the T flip flops that I had installed earlier over here to convert this and just have a straight signal running into. Um, our AND gate over here, right? So once this torch is off, and this torch is off, this torch, this torch over here comes on, and we, this light comes on, the observer this exit, and the big problem I had was the observer was shoot, shooting a way too quick of a pulse, and I thought it was like doing some update suppression thing, but it actually wasn't. It was just too short of a pulse. So we needed to get a pulse extender comparators coming out of the back, extending the pulse, boom, going into this T flip flop, same thing as a button essentially, and just like that, it presses and opens and closes the door. Simple. One, two, three, easy peasy. All right. So now if we want to close this over here, we got to go ahead and interact with bookcase six right here. Bookcase six over here. And bookcase six. Oh, well, I guess it, it uh, closed. <laughs> this thing's a bit fidgety, I'm not going to lie but it does work as a secret entrance because as you can see it remains closed even if i go ahead and play around with these bookcases any one of them it only if you do go ahead and play with the right ones at the right time and once this is filled in will it properly open yeah and in case you guys are wondering how i got the and gate shrunk it down to simple versions this is what this is what it simply is right once you flip one of both of them right both of them flipped off no light but if you go ahead and flip either one no light right but if you have both of them on that's when you get the light same thing as over here uh the end gate i don't know if it's a t flip flop the end gate same thing over here see one is off and on only then will it turn off when both of them are off and on. See? When both of them are on, will that turn on? So the same exact situation going into this. Now, how do you make this? You got a comparator running into the, the bookcase, right? With a book inside of it. This is our key. And then you have uh, the book that you're going to go ahead and actually enter with, right? This is the one over here. And you have a comparator running into it, running into subtract mode. So you go ahead and flip this. Right, that's when it goes into subtract mode. Going into the repeater, and you got a redstone torch over here, redstone torch over here, and you got ourselves redstone, and then run the line down. Right, you have to make sure the line runs, otherwise, if it's just gonna go ahead and connect to these two and not come out, you have to go have it come out once, unless you want to do the whole observer and redstone lamp situation that I had to go on earlier. It caused me quite a bit of trouble. Uh, yep, and there's that here. Uh, let me show you guys uh, how the bookcase situation works by itself, right? Separately. All right. So you got yourself the. Uh, this is gonna be your key right here, right? So you've got a comparator running into it, right? And then you got yourself another comparator running into this bookcase that you're gonna have facing out to the public, right? Then next up, you go ahead and slap two redstone right here, right? Then you go ahead and uh, put yourself a repeater. Oh, let me just grab one real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. You got yourself a repeater going in like so, and a target block like so, redstone torch right here. 
right and then you're gonna be pulling out your signal coming out from here this is gonna be your signal coming out to wherever right so say you got yourself the bookcase right here this is all thanks to etho by the way all right figure this part out well technically he figured it out so you got yourself signal strength well this is not you got yourself a this is the one that you got yourself the key right the key is you got yourself a signal strength of two so this is supposed to be in subtract mode don't forget to put this guy in subtract mode right this guy goes into subtract mode and then when you have a signal strength of three will it turn off see everywhere else is going to stay on see that everywhere else it's still on only on three will it be unpowered and bam that's how you have yourself a one slice quick uh, bookshelf chisel bookshelf entrance right and then when you have it slid up into two slices you just mirror the things right this is your key right here you've got the book in here and then you got the key over here sometimes pay attention to see what which ones work because for, for example for me the one over here turns into somehow signal strength of six and that's how this activates right so just pay attention hopefully that helps and I'll see you guys next time. I'll be back once this thing is complete. Peace.